All right, welcome back to Digital Shop yeah. Talk we don't episode. Do we don't do welcome back. Mm-hmm. Again, you chastised me the last time. We don't do welcome, welcome back. back. Okay, just welcome. Welcome to episode twelve of Digital Shop Talk. Uh, best number twelve in sports ever, Joe Namath, most likely. Uh, yeah, I think so. So we're gonna call this episode Joe Namath. Uh, football season's upon us. Go Jets! Um, but we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, summer vacation is wrapping up. Um, we're pretty much on the verge of Labor Day here. Did you have a good summer? You did some I did. traveling this summer. Great summer and happy Friday, everyone. Happy we have Friday. A, we have a couple hard decisions this weekend here in Denver. We have the band called Fish absolutely playing, and we also have Taylor Swift playing on Sunday night. So, what are you are you going to do, Taylor Swift or Fish on Sunday? Um, that's an easy decision. I'm going to Taylor do Swift. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and speaking of travel, there obviously are a million different ways to book travel. Yep, and. Um, Google is highly involved in that process. And just recently, they rolled out some new tactics, techniques for consumers to, to book travel. And um, how, how do we take advantage of that? Well, I mean, really, they, they kind of announced it uh, back in July that uh, eventually you were going to be able to start booking travel, booking hotels, uh, rental cars, things of that nature through the Google Maps engine and, and stay within the Google environment. That's officially rolled out. Um, which is really kind of up the ante in the travel and hospitality booking game, and which is already really a competitive space. TripAdvisor is getting involved um, in, in booking. Amazon has, has made some waves, and, and folks like Priceline and Expedia are starting to really consolidate as a result, where they've had the lion's share of the market for years. So being able to book within the Google environment, um, when we think about it from a consumer experience standpoint, it's you're cutting more steps in that process out, making it easier, which is what we all want, right? I want to find the right. best price. I want to find a hotel near me or a flight that suits you know, my travel times. And, and the less steps I have to take and, and still feel like I got a good value, the better. So it's really going to be fascinating to and see. how do you get your data in there? Exactly. Well, and that's the other part of it too, because now those are, quite, those are pop quiz, pop quiz, Google hotels or API. You have to feed, oh, you have you. to constantly be feeding that information. If you don't have if you're not actively managing that, mm-hmm. um, you can't do it. Yep. You will miss out on that opportunity. So make sure that your Google Hotels API is is cranking yep. or you just won't show up. Yep. So summer travel season is winding down, but holiday travel season is certainly going to be winding up. So there's going to be a lot of rich data uh, coming out uh, in the next few months. It will be interesting to see what just, happens. So as part of the hotel booking, of course, you want to make sure it's a good hotel. You mentioned value, but sure. you also want to have comfort. So what is the lowest rated star hotel you would sleep at? I I don't think I'd go below four stars. To be four? Honest. Wow. We went to a conference a few years ago in Chicago <laughs> and it was a three star and I think the subway or the L train was going right by us the whole time. So, so that, that sealed the deal on three stars. So in, in, in kind of like obvious news, mm-hmm. 87% of people won't do business with a one star yeah. rating, which I, w- I wonder is what those 13% of the people are, are looking for. Yeah. Um, or maybe they just... Margin of error is plus or minus 13. So it's 100% of people won't go to you if you're awful. Yeah. Hot Shocking. Tip, hot tip of the week. Shocking. Speaking of hot tips, it's time for the toolbox. Time for the toolbox. Well, that was great. That's a nice little segue there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, we talk a lot about, um, you know, what kind of marketers need to do, um, you know, as, as uh, not only brands like Google, um, but other brands, whether it's in the travel business, the hospitality business. Um, are really starting to focus more on qualitative data, user experience, consumer experience to really um, attract, you know, more of those incremental dollars, right? So um, while that qualitative data is really the holy grail right now for marketers, um, we still have a lot of quantitative information um, and data points that we can use. So how how do we optimize? So it's kind of like that. It's a, you know, in juxtaposition to the Google interface, which is a one click all the way through done, um, Obviously, people still want to go. If you're going on a vacation or even in any travel, I just had to book some travel. You want, to my point earlier, you want to make sure it's it's a good experience. Yep. So there's so much time and expense that goes into driving traffic to your site. Unfortunately, too many companies stop there. Mm-hmm. And they don't do a lot of the, what I consider basics of landing page testing, conversion optimization. And it's, you know, there's, there's a number of different tools um, we partner with Optimizely, which has been a great partner of ours. And it's it's simple as instead of having the button say, click here, mm-hmm. um, 
or our favorite submit, mm -hmm. <laughs> we, uh, we have something along the lines of, you know, enjoy your next vacation or sure. start your next start vacation. Start your you know, tour. And it's as, <laughs> as simple things like that, that if you move the conversion rate from 1% to 1.1%, mm -hmm. it changes all the other variables in that formula. And you can either get more for the same or spend less and, and get the same. And there's, there's a number of different tools and tactics. And if you are watching this and you are a CMO and your team is not providing you with on-page optimization reports yeah. on a weekly basis, yep. tell them to figure it out because mm -hmm. it's biggest bang for your buck. Yep. Do landing page testing. Well, not only that, I mean, not only having the data points from a, a, a you know an increase in click-through rate, you can start to gain insights around that consumer experience, what what consumers are, are more... Um, I don't want to say interested in, but what's going to kind of continue to drive that intent all the way through purchase. Yep. So absolutely um, great stuff. Um, we'll be back with the upvote. And we're back for the upvote where we talk about cool stuff in the space. Um, since this is little known fact around number 12, so Michael Jordan wore the number 12 for one game <laughs> in 1990 when his jersey was misplaced or stolen that day. So a little trivia question if you ever Interesting. need to win trivia for that. But um, <laughs> we all fly a lot. I fly a lot. I'm flying today. What's your favorite airline? Top of your head. Um, top of my head, Southwest. Uh, my favorite airline is US Airways now American. Yeah. Partially because my mom used to work at America West way back in the day. <laughs> and uh, we would go out to the airport and like watch her like do this thing. And nice. Like that. And they got acquired by US Airways. US Airways and American are together. I'm flying them today. Thanks for the upgrade. Um, <laughs> but flying can be a pain yeah. a lot of times. Absolutely. And there seems to be like, it's like, why can't technology help us mm -hmm. with fly, make with flying make less, less painful? So, well, good news for you. So Delta, if you fly, I don't fly Delta, Delta, I don't fly Delta. You don't but, fly Delta. But <laughs> maybe you will start because they actually just released... Um, uh, a brand new app uh, currently for their flight attendants. Uh, they essentially what they did is took their you know old kind of clunky guest service tool, if you will, and downloaded it onto all the smartphones, uh, tablets, mobile devices of their flight attendants. So now flight attendants have access to not only the previous information about safety, basic procedures, but also information about um, their guests that are on the plane. So if someone's in 31A, uh, maybe the flight's delayed a little bit and that customer uh, has a potential to miss a connection or their gate changes, um, flight attendants are going to know that uh, more uh, in more real time, if you will, and be able to provide kind of that added um, level of, of uh, customer service in terms of helping their guests have a better flying experience, which as you said, can all be a pain. The other side of it is that the app ultimately is going to allow customers to order things like drinks on the plane, different amenities, um, connect to the Wi-Fi system, and also get real-time information on their connections, their gates, where they need to be, uh, to hopefully make that travel experience better. So when you're paying top dollar, um, which you know flights are only continuing to get more expensive regardless who you fly with you want to have value You want to feel like you're treated um, Especially if you're a rewards member, you know So if you want to upgrade to first class or business class things of that nature You'll be able to start to do this uh, from the fingertips of your mobile device. So I would suspect yeah, actually, flight that, costs have Not risen as at the same rate well, they've as everything kind of, else they've kind of over the last well. like 30 years. Yeah, they're still expensive. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> well, you know, if you get free upgrades, you know, I guess it's not too shabby. All but right. Great 12th episode. Sorry for the t-shirt. Happy Friday. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your summer. Taylor Swift, retweet this. Thank you. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> I love Taylor Swift. Yeah, like